Welcome back to No Code Devs. Today, we're gonna to be building a landing page like this using only no code tools. In fact, we'll be using Wix Studio to build this animation effect, complete with the background image, button animations, and the body animation surrounding the text. It's super easy and should take you only about six minutes to follow through this tutorial. By the end of it, you'll be able to build really cool interactive landing page like the one here. Let's dive in and show you how this works. If you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe, and comment with any questions. Let's dive in. All right, let's go ahead and get going with this tutorial. As a reminder, we're gonna be building this site right here, which is a really neat landing page that has all kinds of visual elements and animations going on. We have a background image that's moving or a background video. We have this button that sort of moves and wiggles. And then we have this cool circular effect around our text. We're gonna build this all in just a few minutes with no code, and I'll show you how to do it in Wix Studio. So if we hop over to our blank site, we can add our first element to our body section here. So to do this, you can either hit the plus symbol over here where you can add your media elements or you can just hit add elements right here in the text. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit upload media, exit out of this pop-up module. And then down here on the left, we have media from Wix. Once you're in this sort of section, you can actually filter by videos and I'm just gonna search for tunnel. And we have this really nice futuristic abstract tunnel that we're going to choose to add to our site. Let's go ahead and choose that. And we can just simply hit add to page. Now, now it's in our page. We can click this stretch button and it'll expand this image so that's sort of the full width of the page. There's also some other uh, settings over here under responsive behavior where we can scale proportionally. If we would like, we can do the relative width. Uh, we can do fixed, but we're going to go ahead and do stretch. Okay, so now that we have our cover image here, we can actually preview this just to show what it looks like at this stage. And we have this cool video playing in the background. Okay, so let's keep moving here. Next, we want to hit the plus element again to add elements. And we're going to go ahead and add a text element with the heading one. Right here, we can say welcome. We just hit edit text highlight the text and we can say, welcome to the future. Delete this one. We can highlight the text over here on the right. We can choose the color. We can make it white. And then we can adjust the position here, make sure that it's centered. Also, if we click edit text, we can come over here on the right and center the text. Again, we're trying to create this here. Okay, so it's looking good so far. Let's go ahead and add our button. So again, we'll hit add elements. We're gonna choose button and we can choose this button here. The button has been added to the page. We can double click it, change text and icon. Let's just do a text and icon. The text can be register. And we can choose any icon that we'd like. We can replace it with something that we have uploaded from our site. You can actually use our AI image creator, but let's just go ahead and keep the icon what it is right now. You can also change the icon uh, size over here. As you can see, we can adjust all of that. Now, to get the icon to sort of wiggle like it does here in our example, we can click on this here. We can go over to this interactions and then we can go to loop and once we choose the interaction setup, there's all these different options. So we can choose what we like best. There's spin, there's poke, uh, there's jello, which is I think what we chose here on this example, which is the jello, and it's gonna do it in a loop. So as you can see, we've added this and we can see that it's been added by this little lightning bolt uh, indicator. Okay, so next up here, if we're looking at our example site, we see that we have this really a uh, cool circular thing going around the text and the button. So let's go ahead and add that. The way that we do that is with a Lottie animation. Lottie has a bunch of free animations and this is one of them. So if you sign up for Lottie, you can find the free animations, pick one that you like. We've chosen this one. All we need to do is copy this asset link. If we head back over to our site here, we can actually add a new element. And what we need to choose here is embed in social. Once we choose embed in social, there's some different things. We can embed code, we can embed a site, we can do a custom element or a Lottie animation. 
So we're going to go ahead and choose Lottie. Okay, so the Lottie animation has been added to our page. If you click the change animation button, we can now paste this link that we got from over here right into this URL. And look at that, it's updating uh, in real time. Now, one other thing that I did here was I adjusted the opacity of this to be 50%, I believe. Yep, so we can change the opacity over here to be 50%, which gives it a little bit of a transparent effect. Now I can just make this bigger. As you can see, the page expands as I make this Lottie animation bigger. Let's just put it like that. Move it down a little bit. And now we just have to adjust our text over here. I'm going to actually send this back a layer. I'm going to move it backward one, get a register button. Let's just move it down here. Welcome to the future. So what we need to do is move this back. Now we can choose welcome to the future. We can move this down. Maybe that's a little bit big. So we just want to scrunch this in. We'll move our button back up. We'll make sure everything's centered. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a preview and see how it looks. All right, looks pretty good. And as you can see, if we come over to our demo site, it looks pretty much exactly the same. So we've built this from scratch in just a matter of about six minutes. You can, as you can imagine, do all kinds of cool things with animations, knowing these tricks. You can use the interactive animations on buttons and text. You can add Lottie animations and you can add background images or images to your site. Hope this was helpful. If you liked this video, be sure to comment with any questions, subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos and like this video as well. Thank you so much.